Yeah, you better. And as we all know, learning never ends. And learning as a continuous process becomes more useful when we learn properly. And that is why today we're taking a look at three different Blender courses from the folks at Coloso that will help Blender creators get up to speed with some unique skills. These courses are highly detailed and are designed for beginners and intermediate creators. And with that said, let's get right into it. Creating a 3D character in any DCZ app can be technical, depending on the tools available and how easy it is to navigate the interface you're working with. And Blender tends to simplify this process with an easy to use interface and a very efficient workflow. The process involved in character modeling are not necessarily linear as you may need to walk back and forth to fine tune your character to your liking. And this is where the phone character modeling using Blender course comes in very handy. This is a course targeted for beginners, intermediates, and modeling slash sculpting enthusiasts. This course showcases a great deal of know-how as you learn virtually every process you would need to make a complete 3D character. As a total beginner, this course starts from the basics of modeling in Blender all the way to sculpting as the skill sets and techniques shared in this course will come in handy during your sculpting journey. Within the course, the concept of various character designs would be looked at and discussed to give you an idea of how to define your character's facial and full body features. The instructor also pushes the tab further to showcase how to create food setups, modeling and detailing these extra assets. Furthermore, various forms of prop setup and choices will be explored as this course also explores movement, posture and expressions. All of this would aid in helping you convey the original idea, looks and emotions that you intend to drive with the model you're making as an artist. Additionally, different types of hair, which includes the pony hair, dango, pigtail and loose hair would be explained and discussed in details, as hair modeling using curves would also be taught within the period of the course. And the beautiful thing about this course is how in-depth it is. You will learn to master the process of modeling, sculpting, and styling your character. And not just having to follow up with the course, basic principles that will guide you throughout your modeling and sculpting processes and how you can simplify and get the most out of your sculpting or modeling would also be explained. It is worth mentioning that retopology, texture painting, and rigging are also part of things that you will learn when you choose to pick this course as at several times you will get to see different ways of retopology and you'd also see how you can do your typical texture painting for your hero character and rigging in terms of posing. And as a tiny bit of a bonus, rendering would also be explored as you would see how you can go from a simple sphere to creating an amazing object that you would render at the end of the day. At the same time, the instructor tries as much as possible to simplify the processes to the barest minimum with an extra post-production slash finish up process in Photoshop. This awesome course is currently available and would be of use to anyone regardless of your skill set in Blender. So for those who are thinking about getting started with modeling or sculpting in Blender and you would like to push the boundaries of what you can create, then you should consider checking out the colossal font 3D character modeling course using Blender. MPR or non-photorealistic style of rendering are becoming a thing for both animation and games. And for those who are thinking about getting into it, understanding how to deal with the shaders, setting up the outlines and probably dealing with how you can get started with making the model that will drive the whole idea of an MPR style character might not be the easiest of things to do. And this is where the brand new course from Sangwoo becomes very valuable. This course begins with a clean orientation to the basics of character MPR rendering as it explains how you get to start the creation and presentation of your 3D character design in Blender using the cartoon MPR style rendering. Intending students will have a top-down explanation of how to start off with a simple sheet and get all the way to a final character. This also includes how they get to make the models and shade the models for MPRs with various creation styles. Interestingly, a good set of modeling basics would also be showcased and taught which would help creators who are approaching Blender for the first time to get a hands-on on how to get started with modeling, as this creator also shares a couple of tips and tricks across it. More so, there are additional practice projects and class materials which are designed to assist you follow up and understand the fundamentals of this course. From basic props to character figures, sketching, sheet designs of character for both animation and game development, modeling, sculpting, modeling of hair, understanding how to deal with shading, understanding deformation along curves and how this flows to get the exact style of the final model that you're dealing with, and finally animating this model and bringing them to life would all be taught throughout this course, as this course is aimed at giving artists all of the skills required for translating a simple sketch into a 3D model with all the necessary prowess to shade, render and composite this easily. 
with a fully educational and carefully thought out set of 21 topics across 8 chapters. This would get anyone from beginner level to advanced as the instructor seems not to spare any expense in showing all of the nitty gritties of making cartoon stylized rendering. And for gamers, you'd also have a wonderful chance to be introduced to different kinds of settings that can be used in games and other platforms for finishing up your cartoon and stylized rendering. So if you've always wanted to create MPRs or probably you're into toon shading and you're wondering how you can get started with making some MPR style rendering for your animation or maybe for your games, then you should definitely check out Samu's course on Colossal, which is the introduction to 3D cartoon rendering with Blender. Loop animations are so satisfying to watch, and making them requires a set of skills in order to achieve the concept of continuity. Loop needs to be done in a very meticulous fashion with some interesting attention to details, and this is what the secret of perfect scaling loop in Blender course is designed to teach you. This course is brilliantly put together to get you creating a perfect scaling loop animation with a few interesting secrets. Of course, there are lots of tutorials that can get you doing loop animations, but there aren't anyone that teaches how to use maths as the driving force to creating abstract and kinetic motion graphic style loops. And getting into the course, the structure just simply makes it super easy for anyone to learn how to make these types of loop animations without getting bored with 4 main chapters and 11 topics that get you started with making loop animation. As the first learning chapter brings you up to speed with getting acquainted with Blender's interface, enabling pre-installed add-on and the creation and packaging of spiral patterns with scaling. The second learning chapter continues to educating on how to make interesting models and the secrets to the scaling effect. The third learning chapter gets us into the full gears of animation. Motion creation, duplication, grouping and repeating are all explored with a build-up for rendering with shot setup for both EV and cycles. And finally, the basics of working with shaders are explored briskly as simple and detailed shader materials are introduced to fine tune the overall and general final look for rendered. With a simple, interesting course like this, you can get started with having little to no idea about making loops, down to getting a full idea of how to make scalable animation loops. So if you're excited about making or understanding the principles of a perfect scaling loop in Blender, then this course is definitely an interesting one to look at. And for anyone looking at picking any of these courses or you'd love to check them out yourselves, then links to this alongside a coupon code for a good number of persons would be in the description so do well to check it out. Colossal's Blender and other courses are highly detailed set of courses and for anyone who is looking at scaling, leveling or building up their skills, then Colossal is definitely an interesting platform for learning that you should consider taking a look at. So, this is more like it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. All of these amazing courses are right here and you can grab them and take them for a spin. And for sure, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.